to have you here. Are you loving this weather? I love the temperatures. Yeah? Yeah, yeah a little bit wet. Okay. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Anybody want to start out with a question here? It keeps you cool, right? Sure. Yeah, it makes it, it, makes it inter interesting, right? Questions, questions? Ben, have you been here before? I have. I yep. have. Um, last, my last race here was 2015. I've been here, um, I've been here once for the full marathon, and probably uh, at least four times for the half. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one of, my, one of my favorite places to come for the, uh, for the summer race, for sure. How many marathons do you get in a year? Uh, really, typically one, maybe two. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I like to have them marathon a little bit better. That's a little bit of 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 is um, so I haven't I haven't been on the roads for a little while. My last half was uh, early 2016. So last this last summer I focused more on, on the trails locally. We, we just had our first son about a year ago, so I stuck close to home. And I did uh, the Pikes Peak Ascent and uh, a couple other um, of the kind of mountain trail races around college Springs. So that being said, I'm I'm, uh, I'm excited to see where my fitness is. And, uh, yeah, you know, you know that. I mean, the, the conditions look great tomorrow. The course is always fast and always lots of competition here. And the altitude in, in Colorado Springs is about what, six? Yeah, six or seven thousand. <laughs> so, yes, see what see was a nice advantage as well. <laughs> do you have military experience that noted the hat? Can you tell me? I do, yeah, sure. Um, so, I was active duty for about 12 and a half years. So when you train in the altitude and then you run here, is, is it is it easier? Yes. You get some overload yes. training for the year and then spend it here. Yes. Yeah. And, and a lot of distance runners run at altitude for that reason. Um, it, you know, you're acclimated to running. High altitude, you get extra red blood cells, so you come down to sea level with lots of, lots of oxygen, and uh, it feels quite a bit easier. So, yeah, um, we always look forward to a sea level race. So, a lot of times when we look at the athletes, we're looking for you know, what their fastest PR is, and how close they are to that. I mean, it is, I mean, Peter brings up a good point, which serves the military, so thank you for that. Um, pilot, so what equipment did you fly? I mean, you haven't seen the flight. Sure, sure, yeah. So I, I've been flying the uh, it's a rear jet, rear 35, um, called the C21 Air Force. And I've previously had it from the Polaris uh, PC12, I was an instructor pilot for T6. Um, I actually saw so I'm, I'm in the National Guard part time, and just got kind of a Southwest 137 as well. So, so you work for Southwest? I did, yeah, as a jet so, so that being said, when I came here uh, a few years ago, I was, I was training full time. That was my Okay. <laughs> yeah. Were you in combat? Huh? I have. At one point? Yeah. Afghanistan? Yeah. 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 A couple times in Africa. Now, I don't know about the Air Force, but other programs have elite at I know the Army has an elite athlete program. Does the Air Force have a program like that as they well? They do. They have the same program called the uh, WCAP, World Class Athlete Program. Mm -hmm. So I, I did that from uh, 2014 to 2016. So I was training uh, exclusively from the trials of 2016. So uh, I, ran, I ran in LA, I placed 17th there, and that was my uh, marathon PR of 215. And then uh, I did, did some track um, competition that summer as well. Couldn't quite make it in the 10K, got, got close. Mm -hmm. and so in the Air Force, um, it's, it's a two year program, probably yeah. the Olympics. Arm is a little bit more extended, I think mm -hmm. we can stay for a lot longer. But uh, so after, after that two years, then you go back to your, your uh, normal duty. Do you train largely alone or and self-coach? Do you have a coach? Do you have a training group? Yeah, so as of now, um, it was the Pikes Peak League track, 
Pikes Peak LED track club, the Culver mm -hmm. Springs. Mm -hmm. Now it's just transitioned to the Culver Springs track club. This is the new name. And so yeah, we have, a, we have a good group of runners there, some military, some um, just uh, the normal, normal uh, 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 civilian runners, as, yeah. as, as you call it. So yeah, a good mixture of uh, mid distance up to long distance. Um, I'm, I'm currently self-coach. I was I was being coached for a good while. I just changed it up mm -hmm. recently. So. Did you run in college or? I did. I ran Air Force Academy. You, you were at the Academy. Uh, did you ever run Marine Corps Marathon or Ironman? Uh, I have done both of those. I've had, I've done the uh, Marine Corps I think three times. Um, the last one was like I think 2012, and I've done a half marathon. Uh, Air Force in, the, in Dayton, probably four or five times. Yeah. And which of them did you like the best? Uh, they're very different. Um, marathon versus half marathon is different. So th they're both just really unique. No, from from the new points of course, like Marine Corps Marathon and the other one, Air Force Marathon. I'm sorry, which, course, course, the course. Which, which course did you like? The Marine Corps, Mar the Marine Corps course is, is hard to be going through <coughs> Washington, D.C. and the past all the monuments and, um, and whatnot. So that's, if I were to pick a course, definitely uh, Marine Corps. Yeah, that's a good question. You, you were in Afghanistan for how long? Um, I've done a couple stints there for anywhere from 60 days to four months. Four months is my longest. Were you able to train effectively there? I was able to train. Effectively, is, is doing well. So, yeah, and I mean that's that's something that that uh, helped me get through the deployments was you know running, whether it was on a treadmill or on a you know mile or two um, dirt trail somewhere. Um, you just you just make it work. And uh, so yeah, so I, I did maintain some fitness, some fitness out there. Um, you just have to be creative, and, and uh, thankfully you have a lot of time because not not much else to do. So. So then all your running is on the base, or yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You didn't run through the countryside. Did not. You'd be carrying a weapon if you did, bro. Probably, yeah. That that would be pushing pushing my limits a little bit. Yeah. Other questions for Ben? Ben, thank you. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for your service. Christopher, can we have you pull up, please? Uh, he is uh, also running here in the Masters uh, category. Yep. And so, how have things been going for you recently? Uh, it has been going well. Uh, since last year, I was here. Everything has been okay. I've been running. Then, I'm back here. When was the last marathon you did, Christopher? Uh, last month. Last month? Yeah. What was it? Uh, uh, marathon in Paco, in Texas. It, oh, okay. Okay. How did you go? I ran two, 218 and I was number three. Number three? Yep. Was it hot there? Uh, what? Was it hot? Hot was no, hot. No, it was like not uh, humid. The last thing, like the last five months, was a bit humid for me. We started first year, and the last thing, we were very fast. That's how I ended in number three. Yes. Do you think you're in as good a shape uh, this year as you were last year when you uh, ran grandmas? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think we are more in shape. Like, let's say, it's like last year. Will you be racing to do particularly well as a Masters runner, or are you consider yourself still an open runner trying to win the race in place? I, I still feel my body still like um, going to win the race. I, I, I don't run like a master. Yeah. Other questions, folks? So you'll try to win the race, and if you get the master thing along with it, you'll settle for that. What? I said you're trying to win the race overall, but if you if you do, you'll get the master thing along with it, right? Yeah, I have to go with them, and uh, if they don't run, they they are not in good shape, or they, they are not going to beat me. I have to beat them and win. The
days, and in the process I will give it to the masters. Yes. Can anybody beat Elisha Bardo? Oh, maybe I can beat him tomorrow. <laughs> 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 You'd have to run fast. Uh, yeah, we, we, uh, I don't know about the weather because I saw the some a bit rain and I'm not sure about it. But we are going to see tomorrow. Please. Mr. What, what do you remember most about the year you won Grand Prix? How did that race play out? <laughs> I, I got the picture today and they give me like a present and that. <laughs> oh, nice. Other questions, folks? Yeah, he was coming fast because I had already stopped. If the finish had been two strides further, he would have won. Yeah, I would win it very easy. <laughs> good, good timing. Thank you. All set here, folks? Everyone? All right, uh, thank you so much. Good luck to you. <laughs> well, sir, can we bring you up? Last year, the Incomparable three feet. Question is, will it be four? Can it be four? What do you think? I think it's going to be a good race because it's going to race. But I hope maybe there's maybe you know it. You're hopeful that the weather will stay like this, but no wind. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Questions uh, for our champion from last year. I don't know, do we have a sound person here? Uh, could you get speak closer to the microphone? Please, yeah, really close to this. Okay, who's got the first question for our champion here? What is your most feeling confident for tomorrow? I feel I'm in good shape. You feel a little bit more pressure as you're uh, preparing for uh, this race, especially since uh, you know you can make history again by winning uh, the fourth straight year. Yes, I hope tomorrow maybe I'm going to make my history in the Are you thinking about that as a goal, or do you have to put that aside and not think about winning four times, or how, what is the mental game like there? Um, tomorrow is the day I have been meeting in my, in my plan, so I think tomorrow it's going to be, it's going to be my, another day for me. And you feel as fit uh, and well, healthy? Any other questions, folks? Mike? You ran your PR earlier this year at the 209, correct? That's 20932. So that was earlier this year, correct? Yes, you still didn't use it. Yeah, so, um, and how about, I'm not quite sure when it used to was. How many weeks or months ago was it? After I used to my book, it was in the month, I was done. And then after, um, well, welcome back and, and 
good luck tomorrow. And I know that you got in here earlier this year, three days before, right? You got in three days ago? Yes. And last year you got in like the day before. So. Yes. <laughs> Where do you train? I train in Italy. Thank you. Say again, where? Where do you train? In Lourdes, Kenya. Lourdes. Okay. John? How many of these would you have to win in a row before they would rename the race for you Sorry. instead of grandmas? Sorry? <laughs> I said, how many of these would you have to win consecutively before they would rename the race for you? Yeah, maybe this race is going to be. <laughs> You've talked about uh, the friendliness of this race, which we think is true. I, 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 I love to hear you say that. I, I think this really has a positive effect on you, doesn't it? The cheering and, and the welcoming that you receive here in this area. Yes, that because when you run here, it's children cheering us. Yeah. And people know you now. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. You said your training for, for grandmas, has it gone better than your training for Houston went earlier this year? Or the same? I think uh, grandma died prepared very well because uh, uh, after LA, I took like uh, three months. Other questions? We all set? Everybody? Okay. Thank you. Best of luck to you tomorrow in a round of applause. Uh, Dara, could we have you up, please? And Dara from Kenya. On the half in 2016. It's nice to have you, you back here again. Thank you. And how are things been going for you since uh, we last saw you? Yeah, I've been training them well. Oh, my body, you know, everything's fine. Yeah. Where do you train mostly? I was in Kenya like eight weeks. Uh huh. And I just came back in uh, <clears throat> May. I've just finished like one month. Yeah. Uh, are you in Santa Fe? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, questions? What do you remember about your victory here? <laughs> um, that day I was you know, well prepared uh, for the previous year that motivated me to come back and win the rest. Just having that victory in your on your resume, I, I imagine you're feeling pretty confident for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm feeling very ready. Um, you know, I'm hoping to win tomorrow. So, what will be your strategy for tomorrow? Tomorrow, um, you don't, I, I don't know because you know, the weather, but I don't worry. Um, I'm not worried about the weather of tomorrow. I'm feeling very ready because I'm been training well. So um, I'm worrying. I'm not worried for that. Everything's fine. So you want to win? I'm going to lead the pack, or I'm going to watch what others will do and wait. You no, know, I will watch first, then I will decide what I will get next. Other questions? Anyone? <coughs> we all set? Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Bravo. Aaron Fletcher. Aaron, if you would kindly go up there. Aaron is from Anchorage originally. Actually, live right now. Are you in Utah? Yeah, right now I'm living in Salt Lake City. Okay.
And you ran BYU. That's right. Yeah. yeah. What events were you running there? Uh, I was a steeplechase specialist in college. I was a Division One All-American in that my senior year. Thank you. Living up in Anchorage, uh, all well, my friends didn't recruit you for cross-country skiing, right? That's or right. you did a little, right? Uh, so yeah, I cross-country skied a lot in high school, uh, and then just decided to forego that and start running in college and uh, train hard. Here I am. <laughs> so. Awesome. Question: Where did you run in Anchorage? I mean, as a, like the high school or where you were running, and then where did you train? So Anchorage is home to multiple world-class trail systems. Uh, it's a wonderful place to be an outdoorsy, you know, active young adult. So for me, that was a wonderful place to live uh, growing up. And uh, so I did a lot of, lot of trail running up there. That's the big thing. What high school did you go to? I went to South Anchorage High School. South. Yes. And when did you train for this race? In Salt Lake City is where I've been training recently. So. Did you train on elevation like everyone here? Or? Salt Lake City is at about 5,000 feet elevation, um, so significantly higher than here. Do you train with Jared at all? <laughs> Jared Moore? Uh, no, he and I were high school, not high school, sorry, college teammates uh, for a couple years, and it's been really fun to follow him. I don't train with him much anymore. Uh, because he's a professional full-time athlete and I am not, so I have to do my runs, you know, 5.30 in the morning, that kind of stuff, so. Do you, do you have another job besides running? Yeah, I, I'm a full-time civil engineer. Civil engineer, okay. Other questions, folks? Do you prefer halibut or salmon? <laughs> Uh, you know what? It really depends on the day, but right now I'm feeling hell of it, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mike! So your PR is at St. George, or I'm not just the top corners. I think the course record is still over, like, kind of, all kinds of things. So I actually broke his course record there last year. So it was, yeah. it was 215, so you did break his He ran 214.50 or something, so I got it by just a few seconds. Uh -huh. So congratulations on that. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, St. George was a, I just ran it to see if I was a good marathoner and ended up setting that record and it was the fastest marathon I ever run in Utah and it was a surprise. So, that was your first marathon before that? No, that was my first. That was your first one? Yeah. I mean, I know that course isn't the easiest because there's a lot of downhill, you know, at the beginning, that first 10K. So this will be your next marathon. You haven't run a marathon since, correct? I have not. No. I uh, had some slight injury problems over the winter, uh, so I was hoping to get in some earlier races, but didn't. So yeah, so I'm here for my second, and I'm excited to see how it goes. So what made you uh, pick Grandma's? I uh, just. A few things. First of all, the time of year was good for me. I knew I'd be able to get in a good training block, you know, after my winter injury before June. Um, and then also, uh, just by reputation of the race, you know, I knew that it's been a fast race, it's a fast course, um, and you know, weather dependent, you can get a very fast day, and that's what I'm hoping for. You know, I want to hit some, hit a good time, and, and continue to improve. Thank you. Good luck. Any other questions, folks? So when you get down near zero, you're going to be the best acclimated, right? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've living in Salt Lake the last, I don't know, few years. So Did you over it? Yeah, don't, don't experience those super low temperatures up there. Yes? Are you here primarily to improve your time, or are you thinking about packing order the competition, one will be packed, how, how will you balance that? You know, that's a tough question to answer, uh, but I'm hoping to finish high. I want to compete as well as I can, just run fast. I think uh, my training has been significantly better than uh, my last, my first marathon, um, so I think I can definitely run faster. Do you know what the record is here? 
Oh, two oh nine something, I believe. Uh, six. I just wondered if you had it in engraved. Two oh nine oh six. Okay, two oh nine oh six. Sorry. I just wondered if you had it engraved as a target. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I'm going to be pushing for that quite yet. I'm still a pretty young marathoner, and I don't think uh, I don't think two oh nine is quite in my range. So. And when do you think it will be the time? <laughs> what yeah. age? Give me, give me a couple more years to build some strength. And I think I'll be great. Are you still coached, or are you still uh, being coached by some of the guys at BYU? So I use a lot of Ed Eystone workouts. He's the coach at BYU. So I use his workouts um, <coughs> or things that he has recommended in the past. But I am self-coached. I uh, coach myself. And I like it that way. You train by yourself? Yeah, I also train mostly alone. There are some guys that I run uh, my easy days with, the hard efforts. Anybody else? And except uh, uh, running, uh, what other workout do you do to improve your strength, your results? Well, when I'm not uh, specifically preparing for a race, I, I like to play hockey or go cross country skiing. When the opportunity arises, I will, I will do that. Are you gold nice man? Uh, maybe. I, I grew up a Calgary Flames fan. My dad's from Alberta, so uh, I cheer for the, the Flames mostly. But, but my wife's from Utah, and so now she's she's going all in for the night. So <laughs> this last season, it was a, a lot of fun to watch. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, good luck to you. Nice to have you here. Best wishes and a round of applause.